Project Manage have a RCMP are warning against e-transfer scams, where people click links from what looks like an e-transfer, but instead it's a fake link to get your login information. It started maybe 100 years ago with the letters on the mail, uh, and it continued with uh, the evolution of technology through different methods. Cybersecurity expert Hernan Popper says most scams have one thing in common, to convince you to give up your information through any means necessary. Uh, I felt violated. I felt uh, sick. I felt like I was out of control. Laura Hawkins, owner of Enigma Escapes, says cyber criminals used her Facebook login to gain access to her business and in turn got access to thousands more people they could scam. What happened was they started to uh, communicate with people who were checking with us. That's just from one credential. Scams can come from anywhere. In fact, Popper tested me on whether I could recognize a scam and I failed. Your reaction was real. I know. <laughs> Literally thought this was real. People trust people. And the trust factor is what's compromised and what actually creates uh, that risk. Simply slowing down and taking the time to say, is this real? Is this legit? Could this be a scam? Will be the biggest way of protecting yourself. You know, I changed all my passwords and did all of those kinds of things. And I changed them, I would say, probably every few months. And I didn't before. In Winnipeg, Joanne Roberts, City News.